This video is reviewing the bony anatomy of the ankle and the foot. Beginning with um, kind of up towards the ankle, we have our fibula located on the lateral side. We have our tibia located on the medial side. At the distal portion of both of those, we have our malleoli. So on the fibula and the lateral side, we have our lateral malleolus and our medial malleolus. And these act like pulleys, again, for our musculature to run around, looking down into the foot and moving towards the front. Underneath of the tibia, we have our talus. And underneath that, we have our calcaneus. Moving forward again, we have the navicular. And that group of bones makes up the rear foot. So everything um, that is posterior to the navicular creates the rear foot. Through the middle section, or what we would call the midfoot, we have our tarsal bones. We have our medial, intermediate, and lateral cuneiforms. And then on the lateral side, we have the cuboid. As we look into the toes, just like we saw with the wrist, um, we have a middle section of bones, and we call those our metatarsals. Remember the T is in there, T is for toes. And then we move up into our phalanges. The first row, just like with the fingers, is our proximal phalanges. Then we have our middle and our distal. And each of those are labeled as a phalanx. When we look at our great toe, we only have a proximal and a distal phalanx. Looking at the joints of the foot, starting down at the toes, in our toes number two through five, we have a um, distal interphalangeal joint, just like we saw with the finger, and a proximal interphalangeal joint. We have our metatarsal phalangeal joint, and then we have our tarso-metatarsal joints. Moving up behind that, the articulation between the tibia and the talus is called our talocrural joint, and the joint between our talus and our calcaneus um, underneath through here, as well as the bottom side. Um, on the medial side. It's called our subtalar joint. And then the joints that are in between each of our tarsal bones are called our intertarsal joints. The joint between our tibia and our fibula is called our tibiofibular joint. And at the foot we are talking about the distal one. We would also see the, the proximal tibiofibular joint up by the knee. Looking at the medial and lateral view, again on the lateral side we have our fibula with our lateral malleolus. Here we can see our calcaneus as well as our calcaneal tuberosity. The calcaneus is this entire bone, so it covers a lot of surface area. Moving anterior, in front of our calcaneus, we have our cuboid. And on the opposite side of the foot, we can see the talus and the navicular. Moving medial to the cuboid, we have our lateral, followed by intermediate and middle cuneiforms. And here we see our fifth metatarsal. Now the important part of this is this area at the end. We call this the base of the fifth metatarsal. 
we talked about this as being our really high fracture risk area. Um, and then we look at our joints. We can see our joints of our toes as well again. Remembering we have our distal interphalangeal, proximal interphalangeal, metatarsal phalangeal, and then we have our tarsometatarsal joints um, through here. Looking from a medial view, here we have our tibia, as well as our medial malleolus. Moving anterior, we have our talus, our navicular, and then on the posing side that we can't see would be the cuboid. Here we have our calcaneus, our calcaneal tuberosity on the bottom. We have our medial by our intermediate cuneiform. And then here we see our first metatarsal. First metatarsal head is the end of that first metatarsal, followed by our proximal and distal phalanx, similar to the rest of the foot. So here we would have a distal phalanx, middle phalanx, proximal phalanx, and metatarsal.